Nobody does authoritarianism quite like China. By 2020, every citizen will have a social credit score that will go up and down based on their personal behaviour. Behaviour leading to a deduction in credit will include jaywalking. <laughs> Bad driving, smoking on trains. Dear passengers, people who travel without tickets or behave disorderly are smoking public areas will be punished according to regulations and the behavior will be recorded in the individual credit information system. To avoid any negative record of personal credit, please follow the relevant regulations. Posting fake news online, criticizing the government, visiting unauthorized websites, walking a dog without a leash, letting your dog bark too much. In China, low-ranked citizens will be prevented from taking buses, planes, and trains. Uh, I'm now already restricted the freedom of travel. We can't take buses, planes, or trains. Let me show you. We're going to demonstrate this app. 订票 ，What does it say？ 然后就显示那个出票失败，说我已经被法院依法限制高消费。6.7 million Chinese people have already been prevented from buying air and train tickets, and the system hasn't even been properly rolled out yet. Renting a house, getting a loan, booking a hotel, filling up a car with petrol, all will be restricted. I can't buy property. My child can't go to private school, he says. You feel like you're being controlled by the list. All the time. The entire system will be overseen by an estimated 400 million surveillance cameras with facial recognition software. Cameras record them going through intersections, zero in on their face. Will eventually encompass real-time geolocation tracking of citizens via their cell phone. Oh, they literally say that those deemed untrustworthy will be quote unable to move even a single step. 守信者通行天下，让失信者寸步难行。The Uyghur minority is already forced to download an app that reports their entire browsing history and real-time location to authorities. Now that same system will be extended to all Chinese citizens. But who cares about what's happening in China, right? I mean, the social credit score could never happen over here. Well, think again, because it already is. Thanks to Silicon Valley, people are already losing their public square platforms for voicing dissenting opinion. People are already being refused bank accounts, e-commerce, and the ability to raise money for expressing controversial ideas. Now, Democratic 2020 candidate Andrew Yang wants a social credit style system introduced in America. People are being disowned by their own family members and ostracized from society merely for being conservatives. And whether it's giant corporations or government orchestrating it all, it makes no difference.